Hi, I'm Stefan Nyman with the company CC Jensen and Noria partner through Clean Oil Con. Today I'm going to talk about if additives can be filtered out through normal filtration. I'll start by saying no, they cannot. Normally additives are fully blended like sugar in coffee or hot tea. They are completely dissolved, so they cannot be taken out. There are a few exceptions that we'll look at now. If we look at antifoams or defoamants, um, these are actually tiny particles that are designed to cling onto a bubble and uh, puncture it, so it will not create foam. They normally consist of silicone chains or uh, PMA or acrylic, uh, also called. The big ones, the silicone chains, are actually fairly big, up to about 10 micron in size, so they can get sheared and cut in bearings, uh, pumps, etc. over time. And typically you'll only have about 30% of them left after some months. That doesn't mean, however, that you'll see a lot of foaming. You'll also, when you have fine filtration or a good filter separator or a centrifugal separator, you'll also reduce some of the amount. Uh, they studies have shown that you take about the same amount out, but still again, it doesn't foam. This is mainly due to uh, the initiation of foam due to dirty oil. So if you keep the oil cool, clean and dry, there's actually much lower risk that the oil is foaming. Because bubbles are taking a ride or seeding onto dirty oil. If you are afraid that you'll be losing too much of your anti-foam additives over time, you should go for the PMA or the small acrylic ones. Secondly, we have our polar additives. These are designed to help my machine at startup, so cling onto my machine surface uh, when you're starting up the machine. This is ZDDP, anti-wear for example, extreme pressure additives, sulfur phosphorus, corrosion inhibitors, and such. So like I say, they're designed to cling onto a surface. They unfortunately cannot see the difference between a metal surface in the machine and a metal particle in the oil or a drop of water for that matter. So they will take a ride, cling on to these particles and water, and separate out. So you'll be losing your additives. When you're measuring the additive amount with element analysis through ICP, for example, you cannot see if it's an additive that are actually in working additives or if, if it's an additive that is clinging onto here. So you may have much less additive than you think you have. This is why the rumor came up that when you have additives, they will get stripped out by filtration. When the additives have cling onto a particle or water and a filter takes it out, of course these additives will be taken out as well. However, these additives were actually not ready to help your machine. They were taken up by something else. So you need to address the particles that destroys your additive. So uh, a big particle coming into a machine, for example, uh, uh, 40 micron, that will be destroyed and crushed in the machine, creating thousands of smaller particles that are getting into the clearance. These are one, three, and five micron particles. You need to avoid the dirt getting in, so you need a good breeder, uh, and also to take care of the water. And when the oil is getting contaminated, you need to remove the uh, dirt as fast as possible. So keep the oil cool, clean, and dry. That will help you uh, to have the additives in the oil. If you want to learn more, go to machinerylubrication.com or the YouTube channel of uh, Noria, where you can see these videos. You can also get training classes, and here in Denmark, it will be me conducting it at Clean Oil Con. Thank you very much for listening, and have a good day.